Dollar books on lay, dollar books on lay, on lay, dollar books on lay, dollar books on lay, dollar books on lay, dollar books on lay. All right, every book here I picked up for a dollar a piece. So this is one of my world famous dollar hauls. <laughs> All right, uh, no more bullshitting around. Let's get right into it. What are we starting off with? We're starting off with Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace Number Three. Okay, so uh, it's got Darth Maul on the cover. So I guess this is one of Darth Maul's first uh, comic book appearances. I can't say it's the first outright comic book appearance but uh it's one of them and there he is right on the cover it is a gorgeous cover it is everything and more uh pick this up for a buck what is this book going for now because at the time when i picked it up it really wasn't it really wasn't doing anything and this was like a few months ago so yeah i, I don't know i don't know but probably what is this like a 20 like maybe a twenty dollar book or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. But at any rate, I'm glad I picked it up, especially for a uh, buckety buck. All right, some more one dollar hollers. I so I found cover. So was this cover A and cover B? Uh, Star Wars Episode One, Phantom Menace. So we have the photo cover. Pick that up for a dollar. Uh, I don't know how much this one is going for. I think th this one is definitely more popular than the photo cover. But yeah, all right. Any rate, uh, what the hell else? What's next? What, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Let's do this one. Uh, found this for a dollar, probably early, early last month. So we have a Star Wars Galaxy. I mean, Jesus, Star Wars Legacy number two, first print. All right, all right. I forget how much this book is going for, but for a dollar, you can't pass it up. Some more Star Wars, some more Star Wars, and this one is a free comic book day giveaway uh, featuring the Clone Wars. So uh, from what I understand, this is the first appearance of General Grievous in comic book form. All right. Okay. I forgot how much this book was going for. <laughs> but um, yeah, like when I first saw it, I really didn't know what the hell it was. And I no no I take that back. Yeah, I was actively looking for this one. It's the it's the next one. But I was looking for this one and when I saw it, I was really happy. Now, when I saw this one, this is the one I didn't know what it was. So we have uh Star Wars the Clone Wars. So this is god, oh shoot, I forget. So this is from jeez 2000. Ah, crap. So I forget when this is from. Two thousand, maybe I think this is two thousand five, maybe, and this is from two thousand. What? Oh crap! Let's see. Now I got a grinding halt. We got a million books to get through, but I got to stop this video so I can see what year this is from. I usually make a little note. So this is from two thousand eleven. So two thousand eleven. All right. So Clone Wars free comic book day from two thousand eleven. And this is the first appearance of Savage Oppress. Savage Oppress. Does he work at Kid Kill Industries? Does everything about this guy's name is a overkill, like a son of a bitch? But I don't know. He's cool. He's cool looking enough. And this book is this book is definitely these two books here are definitely on the rise. Um, I I think this I think both of them go for about 20 or 30 a piece on the right day, the right seller and the right buyer. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? If things are really really clicking, you know, either of these books can go for 30 bucks. All right. So we are done with Star Wars. Let's get into some superhero shit. Avengers number 12. This book, I am floored that this book is still going strong. So we have the, um, so we have Tony Stark wielding the Infinity Gauntlet with all the Infinity Stones on it. it, it this book is still, still in respectable category. Still, what, like maybe, a, I don't know, $10, $15, $20 book? Wow. Even after, what, a year and a half or something like that? Wow. 
Okay, it's all good. It's all good. I, I know I haven't. I know I never paid that much for a copy, but hey, to each his own. Uh, here's a book that I can never pass up when it's cheap. Uh, Invisibles number one uh, from from Vertigo from DC Vertigo. I I don't know why I just can't pass it up. I remember when I was first looking for this book. This book was so so tough to find. And now that I found like, I don't know, maybe six or seven copies or something like that, I still can't help buying it if it's uh, if it's cheap. All right. Now, I'm at the point now where if I see it for like cover price for three dollars, I'm going to pass it up. But if it's a dollar, I'm definitely going to buy it. Uh, here's another book that I can't not help but buy, especially for a dollar. So we have... Ghost Rider Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance, number nine, the first appearance of Michael Badalino as Vengeance. I like this character a lot. Very, very, very um, underrated, probably underutilized. This, I would think if, I've, t I've talked about this plenty of times before, but I'll say it again. If a character like this, or, or rather a character like Ghost Rider really, really hits the mainstream and really like is into people's conscience consciousness i'm sure i'm saying that word wrong but but if he, but if ghost rider really really catches on i really do think that um vengeance could be um like his his venom to um ghost rider spider-man i really do feel that way uh, just a great looking character big menacing you know just just the perfect heel all right uh the book doesn't go for anything so that's why i'm at the point now where if i see like maybe a three dollar copy i'll pass it up but for a dollar i'll definitely buy it um peter parker spider-man number 49 at the time that i bought this this book was hot honestly i forget what's in this <laughs> i legitimately forget um, I, you know what? We got to move on because <laughs> I, I forgot what was in it. Uh, Alita Battle Angel number one found another copy. I, I actually sold off um, the copy that I did have, but uh, I'm glad I got, got one back. But this one definitely isn't near mint because there's like a rip right there. But hey, for a dollar, what are you going to do? Uh, Colt. Colt number two from KZ Comics. Um, you know what? Oh, God, every time, every time. Okay, so we have a now the the draw of this book is that. Damn it! Grinding halt! Grinding halt! I believe there's a centerfold pinup. Where are you? Where are you? Either that or one of the first few pages. Shit. Sorry, sorry. Uh, where are you? Where are you? You're here somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Na, 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 na. Grinding halt, grinding halt. Grind. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now the draw of this book is that you have a Ninja Turtles pinup by uh, Peter Laird, and this is only in the first print. The second print has a pinup by Fred Hembeck. Fred Hembeck, one of the worst comic book artists of all time to have mainstream success. That dude, uh, his art is garbage. Fred Hembeck is garbage. It's not funny. It's not cute. There's just no, there's no appeal to Fred Hembeck's art. But, uh, <laughs> but what did I want to say? What was I going to say? What was I saying? What was I saying? So, uh, cult number two, you have to open this up because the first print, only the first print has the uh, Ninja Turtles pinup, and the second print has the shitty Fred Hembeck art. Uh, you know, let's get into these. Uh, Black Flag. There's a lot. There is a lot. There are too many Band-Aids on this fucking guy. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. It just infinite number of Band-Aids. You can tell this is some real early 90s shit right here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. so Black Flag number one and number two. This is like the only copy of number two that I've uh, that I've ever found. Um, ba -ba -ba. let's get into this. These are actually pretty respectable. 
So we have. Uh, pardon the pardon the blur there. So we have Ultimate Comics All New Spider Man number nineteen and twenty. So is this the first meeting of Miles Morales versus? So is this the first time uh, Miles Morales takes on Venom or something like that? Okay. All right. All right. If so, great. If not, okay. All right. Okay. No problem. All right. But yeah. Um, either one, I think, I think 20, ah, honestly, okay, every time I go to, like, a comic book store, I think number 19 is the one that's always missing, so, yeah, but I'm glad to have both, I'm glad to have this set right there, all right, all right, oh, yeah, I, I think this is probably the best thing that I bought, um, this is the best thing that I found for a dollar. Uh, so we have Bloodstone number one, uh, first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone, of course, of course. Uh, what did I want to say about this? Um, I, this is definitely that type of book that um, I think along the lines of Adam Blue Marvel, The Hood, um, Annihilation Conquest, Wraith, um, you know, those like mini series. Um, number ones that like introduce a character. Uh, this is definitely this definitely falls this definitely falls in line with that. And this book is very very uh, not very very hot, but it's pretty hot. How about that? Um, I want to say maybe a twenty or thirty dollar book so far, but this this book has a lot a lot a lot of potential in the long run. So yeah, I believe this this has to be either my fourth or fifth copy so far. But yeah, very happy to have found that and found number two as well. There, I believe it's a, like a five issue mini series, either four or five issue mini series. But yeah, Bloodstone number one, hell yeah, gotcha. Uh, what did I want to show? What did I want to show? All right, now I found this book for a dollar, and I'm not quite sure why I bought it, but I did. So we have the uh, animated adapt well the adaption the comic book adaption to the movie cool world not quite sure why i bought it but i did uh here's a really raggedy beat copy of marvel superheroes number eight first appearance of squirrel girl uh it's beat <laughs> it's beat it's beat it's beat um ba -ba 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 -ba. you know what i'll show these off i'll show these off so I found these for a dollar. So we have Aurella Warrior Nun. This is actually the trade paperback. Um, the trade paperback can go for twenty. Um, I'm not gonna say it does it all the time, but it, it can. And I found two copies of the second print. All right, and you can see one has a sticker on. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get that sticker off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to perform surgery on that comic sooner or later. But yeah. All right. So I found those. Um, what else did I want to show? What else did I want to show? Let's get into some Fantastic Four. Every time I see this book for a dollar, I got to buy it. Fantastic Four, Volume 2, Number 54, First Appearance of Valeria Richards. Um, I don't know. I just can't not buy this book. All right, uh, let's get into let's do Rose and Thorn. Some of these books I just ca I cannot bring myself to bag and board. I'm just gonna show them as is. So we have Rose and Thorn number one, um, great looking um, Adam Hughes cover. Uh, I, this book is weird because it's a it it's sort of kind of a tough book to find, but I don't know. But it's not expensive. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, I'll just check, like, a back issue bin to see if it's there. It's not, but it really doesn't go for anything. Uh, so we have Metal Gear Solid, Sons of Liberty. So we have cover, what is this? I, I believe this is cover, cover A and cover B. All right, okay. I, the last time I checked... You know what? I don't even want to say what these books are going for. Uh, I'd say just look them up for yourself. Because I tried to look them up, but I really couldn't find any info on these. 
but they just look cool enough, so why not pick them up? Strangers in Paradise, third print. All right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right, what's next? What's what's next with the dollar books? We got some more dollar books. Ooh, 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 look at this. Take a look at this. Here's a book I'm really excited about. Um, Static Shock, Rebirth of Cool. A very, very, very limited miniseries. Um, or limited series. Limited, it's a limited, limited series. How about that? Um, I don't think there's really like anything major that happens in the book other than it's just a really really low print run and um let's see as many of you know i am a comic book white supremacist i love my comic book covers nice and white but i am also a black activist let's see if this book is black activist worthy you really can't expect too much for a dollar you can see a slightly rounded corner uh, but it was a dollar, so it's okay. And... Oh, 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 we got a little color break right there. A little colored break. A colored break. Another colored break. Eh, I mean, listen, it was a dollar. What do you expect? It's a nice VF, possibly near mint minus copy. Um, I, I, I want to say, like, number ones of this can go for 30. And, like, each individual issue can go for 20 to 30. So... Yeah, man, it's it's really. Ooh, I gotta plug my. Hold on, let me plug my phone in. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta plug my phone in. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, my phone doesn't die. I could have swore it was plugged in. All right. But uh, Static Shock, Rebirth of Cool, number one, founded for a dollar. We are not done with the static. Oh, no. Oh, hell to the no. We are not done with static. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So I found not one, not two, not three. Not four. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I found eight copies of Static Number One, still nicely bagged. Um, what did I want to say about this first appearance of the character? This book is really like the bag, especially the bag version. Um, going for a very 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 respectable amount you know what let me plug this hold on hold on hold on i gotta make sure this phone is plugged in okay uh what did it, what more did i want to say um it can i mean this book is like i said this book is is it's finally finally starting to catch on or so it seems um i think with all the with the popularity of a character like Miles Morales, uh, we look to the DC version, the DC equivalent of Miles Morales, uh, which is static, in my opinion, in my opinion, and maybe in uh, a lot of other people's opinion as well. So, and uh, like you may think this is overkill, but I also thought it was overkill to buy like multiple copies of Ultimate Fallout 4 when they were in the dollar bins, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what? I, if they were there, if they're there and they're a dollar and they're still sealed, I'm buying them. Screw y'all. <laughs> I'm buying them. I'm buying them. So, yeah, found multiple copies of Static Number One for a dollar. Uh, let's stay on the Icon train. So, we have, or, or rather, the Milestone train. So, we have Icon Number One still sealed and a couple of copies of Hardware. Number one, steel seal. All right. It's all good. It's all good. You know what? I actually found a bunch more statics. So, you know what? Let's show these off. Let's show them off. Hell with it. Hell with it. What, have I, what else have I got to do? Come on. So, let's show them off. Screw it. So, we have static number two. No, I did not bag and board these because I just didn't feel like it. Static number two 
It's a newsstand copy. Static number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Uh, what number is that? Seven. Eight. Nine. So I have a lot of the early ones. Number ten. Oh, so what? So I'm missing. Am I missing 11? No, I'm not missing 11. I just, uh, I bought it at a different time and for a different price. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, I bought 25 later, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, oh shit, is it damaged, no, no, you were a tough comic, 36, 37, 30, what is, what number is that, 30, no, no, that's not 30, 37, 38, 39, and 41 all right okay it's all good it is all good so like i saw like all of these like in the uh in the boxes and i'm just like you know what because i was gonna like pick and choose to see which one which ones were more popular than others and i'm just like you know what the hell with it i just grabbed them all <laughs> i just grabbed them all the hell with it all right what's next whoa some more milestones we have icon number one i believe that's the quote-unquote newsstand version. Why not? I don't know what the hell this is. Comic smorgasbord uh, featuring some Transformers. Oh, okay, so from what I researched, there should have been... There should have been like a card or something like that in the uh, centerfold, but that's not there. And if the, I think if the card were there, this book would probably be worth like maybe 30 or something like that. Uh, Captain America, first appearance of Jack Flag. Uh, at the time that I bought this, this book was sort of kind of, sort of kind of doing something. I don't want to say this book was hot. I don't even want to say this book was warm, but it was sort of kind of doing something. First appearance of some character, I forget. Hey, look at that. Finally, finally, finally found a Tom Strong number one after a misfire. <laughs> I found a Tom Strong number one. <laughs> congratulate me um lobo number one newsstand copy uh ba -ba 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 -ba. peter parker spider-man number 48 some more black flag and uh what the hell is this captain america number nine first appearance uh first full appearance of sam wilson's captain america and i believe last but not least Ghost Rider, number 15, second print, gold cover. All right, so damn, we got through all these books in under 25 minutes. Wow, that is awesome. That is so sweet. Uh, are we going to go through more? Are we going to go through more? No, no, we not. We're 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 not. But we do have more. We have some more. Uh, we have some more dollar hauls. Dollar. We have some more dollar hauls coming, so uh, stay stay tuned and stay strapped. All right, uh, that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.